Well, folks, this has possibly got to be one of the worst Airbnb experiences I've ever had in my life. Whenever I looked at the listing, it said there was going to be a pool. Can I show you what it looks like? All the places are shot. Grass hasn't been cut for a while. Heads hasn't been cut. Pool is just full of... Ugh. What do you think? Fancy going for a swim? Like literally on the listing, that is pure blue. So the whole place is just not maintained. There's grass growing everywhere. Even to find the place, you have to come down this little alleyway. There's no marking to tell you that it's here. Lots of old wardrobes just thrown lying about. Ready for the dump. And when I got into the room, there was little termites, little ants, dust, hair. It took them two and a half hours to get the room ready. So alarm bell should have rung, to be honest, folks. I was tired and I just, you know, got my hire car. There was no review for this and I didn't notice there was a minimum five day stay and no refund policy, which is also another red flag. I'm paying £300 a week for this. It's over £40 a night. Welcome to my humble abode, folks. I am in Govino Bay. Check out my apartment. This is a bit of an upgrade from where I was last night. We double bed and everything. Whew. Oh, it's much better. Today I'm going to take the car and go for a little drive. We're going to go up north. Dawn is shining here, folks. I'm here on Ipsos Beach where the waters are crystal clear blue. Look at that. As you make your way around the island of Corfu, you will discover many towns and beaches each with its own distinct feel and vibe. From the party resort of Cavos in the south, where you can party all night and feel like you're 21 again, to the more sedate and tranquil resorts to be found on the north of the island. Ipsos Beach is known for its stunning natural beauty, clear turquoise waters and pebbled shoreline. The beach stretches for about a mile and is surrounded by lush green hills, creating a picturesque setting. The water is generally calm and ideal for swimming, making it a favourite spot for both locals and tourists. I've just stopped off in a little bay called Nisaki. Hello. Hello. I think I'm going to go to the Mitsos Tavern because it's got the sea view. Notice I'm on the coach today. Doesn't need a driver, so no illusion while you're cruising. Well, you want some, do you? Go for the seafood. You know me, folks. I'm on a seafood diet. Seafood and eat it. We're looking there. The food's on point, folks. So I'm literally having a coffee here, and that over there. See over that way. You see? That's Albania.
I believe that is the Butrint National Park in the background. So later on this week, I do hope to visit Albania. So I will be going to that country. I'll probably even be there looking over here. So keep watching this space to find out. Now, first impressions are it's a very quiet little town. Certainly not like Kavos or anything like that. Doesn't seem to be any rowdy drunk people. Well, not yet anyway. That can be arranged. Just down in the front here, um, there's a whole lot of cafes around. Have a look around. Have a look around, folks. Have a look around. Yes. Thank you. What's your name? Sokolis. Nice to meet you. Mark. Mark. All this walking and the heat's making me thirsty. It's nearly beer o'clock, folks. What time it is, folks? It's beer o'clock. Look at that view behind me. A nice uh, place for a Sunday afternoon pint. What's your name and where are you from? I'm Julie. This is Bill. From Chesley Street. Chesley Street, County Durham. What has you in lovely Corfu? So friendly. The so friendly. Lovely food and drink. Where's your favourite place? Cassiope and Nasongi. What about Cavos? No. Never been. <laughs> never been. I'm too old now. You're never too old for Cavos. <laughs> Alright, nice to meet you. Nice yeah. to meet you. Yes, we're out today. Welcome to Calypso Bar. You are very welcome, everyone. It's one of the best bars in Cassiope. He's a wonderful host, he makes the best cocktails, and his family are fabulous. Well, I've just arrived here in Sadari, which has been described as the Black Pearl of Corfu, I suppose. It's kind of a long strip of bars and um, cafes and restaurants, and there's a nice beach here, so let's go and check it out. Yeah, I'm gonna stay here for the night and see see how things go. The rental car is somewhere here. Um, where is it? Oh. I wonder where it start. Give her a hot wire. And I'll check out my little apartment. My home for the night. The nice view of a pool. Dinner is served. I've got to eat all this. <laughs> I'm this. Let's get topped in, folks. What's your name? Spiros. That was a really good Chinese meal there. I had garlic chicken and I had the noodles, some prawn crackers, the hot and sour soup. It was mm, delicious. Well done. Check it out, folks. If you're in Sidari, come to the Chinatown restaurant. You can't miss it. I, I try to hold you back, but you are stronger.